Hi guys, it's Aziz back with another video and today I want to show you another application called Noisy. So what this application does, it allows you to add extra functions to your volume and buttons and it also themes your volume panel. It's got a lot more features so I just wanted to go through it with you guys. So it's a free application with in-app purchases. It runs without root and it requires Android 4.3 and above. So once you download it and install it, you just have to give it permission in the accessibility settings. So you just activate it, it takes you to the settings, you, um, you check it there and it will start working. So as you already know, when you go to watch YouTube or any other video in your um, on your phone, once you have the stock buttons, if you have the stock theme, it kind of gets in the way and it's very intrusive. So obviously I've got the themed one now, but it sort of gets in the way. So what I like about this one is that it's uh, very minimal and sort of it's, it's not that obtrusive. So once you open it, um, you get all these um, settings. So you can go to the look and feel. So obviously this is you can actually theme it. So you can actually choose all of these themes. So you've got the status bar one. These you need the pro version. The pro is like roughly under a pound, so it's definitely worth it if you if you want to buy the pro version. It's not very expensive at all. It's uh, less than a pound. So you can theme the colors also. So these are the themes you can get. So at the moment I've got the status bar one. But you can also get the other ones. You can get Paranoid. As you can see. Um, because I've changed the colors here. The foreground color and the background color. And you could also get Apple iOS one. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Because you can even change the colors as well. You can choose the foreground color. And you could also make it transparent. You could change the transparency. So that's the theme and you could also choose the timeout so uh, as you know the stock one takes quite long to go well not that long but to me it feels like forever especially when I'm watching something so here you can change it I was just experimenting before so yeah I, I change it to that so it's very quick it fades out very quickly once you change it, it goes quickly here you can change sorry about that here you can change the audio and media so you can choose a default application So just in case that the application doesn't realize which music player you're using, you can just choose it. So I've, I've chosen Power Amp. You could even choose a shortcut as well. Here you could this is um, you could also add extra functions to the volume buttons. So by pressing volume up, I've got it to go to the Play Store. And by pressing volume down, I've got it to go to Facets just to show you guys. Okay, so obviously you can choose whichever application you want or even a shortcut. Here you got um, the sound, basically when you're changing the sound. As you can hear, it's making sound, but you can actually make it silent or have it to ring. This is a pro feature. And you can link the volume and the notification as well. Here you got the experimental features. So you got master volume. So basically, when you change the volume, it's actually going to change everything. All of all of the different kind of uh, volumes that you have. You also got the notification one as well. So this this setting, what what it does, it basically keeps it in the notification tray if you have it ticked. But I like it unticked. So yeah, it's quite good if you if you don't know that it's running, it's good to have that ticked. So every time you know it's running, you can have it. But if you got it on default, it's better to have it unticked. And Media Cloak, that's basically a pro feature. I haven't really tested it out, but it's saying that you can hide the volume panel for a video and games. But you can make it transparent anyway, so it's no biggie. Here you could just say thanks, and there's some adva um, advanced settings here. So you can blacklist it. You can disable the buttons. Ignore long press, so that will basically won't interfere when, while you're trained, taking screenshots. So on certain or a lot of Android phones, you can use the volume button, power button, and the home button sometimes to take a screenshot so it does interfere with that so if you see it interfering just hit that um, button but I just you know I just go to the power button and I hit screenshot so it doesn't really bother me and you've got a few more settings here so yeah that's uh, that's about it in terms of settings yeah one of the main reason why I thought I would show you this because I actually find it really useful and I'm, I, I can see myself buying the pro version as well it's um it doesn't really get in the way um it disappears quite quickly as well I prefer having this one, um, status bar one, but you can also get this one, which I really like as well. You can make it invisible. So if you choose invisible, it won't show it at all. 
you've also got another one let me see if I can find it here we go volume bar so if you choose that as you can see it's very minimal it's even more minimal than the other one sorry you probably couldn't see that but you can see that's very minimal so yeah guys that's noisy do check it out it's a free application um one very big thing about this one previously all the application that needed to change your volume panel or you know add extra um, yeah volume panel you did need root for this but you don't even need root for this so if you're running 4.3 definitely do check this out give a like or sorry uh, thank the developer buy the pro version if you really like it it's uh, pretty cheap and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next video